The search continues for an Austin man who escaped from the North Texas State Hospital on Sunday. Alexander Irvin, or Lex as his mother calls him, was committed to the hospital after being acquitted by reason of insanity for the 2013 murder of his father. Now, former staff members at that hospital are speaking up. CBS Austin's Christian Flores joins us live now with why some former employees say hospital leadership is at fault, Christian. Well, after our story aired Tuesday, former staff members messaged me telling me hospital leadership is to be blamed because of how understaffed the facility is. Now they want Irvin to return peacefully, his mother to get answers, and for the state to step up and improve staffing at the hospital so this does not happen again. I want answers. I want to know, how did my son walk out of that facility? When we spoke with Leslie Irvin days ago, she had this emotional plea for North Texas State Hospital leaders after her son Lex escaped. Lex was committed there after being acquitted by reason of insanity for the murder of his father here in Austin. Now, former hospital staff members are also demanding answers for Irvin. They do share that same sentiment because um, if if he can escape, then what uh, then anybody else can escape from that place as well. This former staff member did not want to be identified, but he and other people who used to work at the hospital reached out to CBS Austin after our story with Irvin's mother aired. Irvin said she saw several layers of security every time she visited the hospital, including 15-foot fences, locked doors, and guards watching from a guard tower. Police officials said Irvin hopped one of the fences, but did not provide more details on how he got past the other measures. Former staff members say hospital leadership is at fault for this escape because of severe understaffing. If the hospital was fully staffed and the staff members were at their 100%, there shouldn't have been an escape because there's only one, er, there's only two exits out and one of them is closed off. Former employees at the hospital say the standard staffing should be six patients per staff member. Texas Health and Human Services told us there are 208 full-time employees and 138 patients at the Vernon facility where Irvin was held. Former staff tell us this does not paint the whole picture. If split evenly among the three shifts, this would mean there are 69 staff members or two patients for each employee. But we're told Vernon personnel get pulled to different units regularly, and the shifts are not evenly split, with overnight shifts sometimes having significantly fewer workers. It would probably be around, oh, say, to like 12 or 13 patients for one staff. In some instances, you would have lopsided staffing issues, like you would have, like, Four, uh, four staff members for 60 something patients. Have these issues been brought to the hospital leaders, to the state? Yes, and every time they get shut down or they get into trouble over coming forward with this information. Beyond concerns over patients escaping, these staffing issues can also lead to worse care. With being that understaffed, it could lead into increased um, restraints that turn violent in a hurry or violence between two patients in the hospital. After Irvin's escape, former staff told CBS Austin they are now speaking up because they want these issues addressed. My hope is that Mr. Irvin can come home safely and that his mom gets some sort of answers. Working with these patients, they're not bad people. They're just um, experiencing bad circumstances, and mental health is a real crisis in this state. I do hope this does shine a spotlight on what happened at the state hospital, and I do hope this shines a major spotlight on mental health as a whole. Police have been very quiet on this case, and we have not received any updates from Vernon Police, as well as DPS, who we are told are now involved in this investigation. We will be sure to pass along any new information on the search for Irvin as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in the studio, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.